substance abuse issues. Um, I don't claim to specialize uh, and classify. I'm not a substance abuse counselor. I've never truly really struggled with uh, drugs or alcohol of any kind. However, I do teach a local inpatient uh, substance abuse program because uh, they invited me in to be part of their program because what we have found is a lot of people struggling with substance abuse are also sex addicts and intimacy anorexics. So this is a big issue and uh, I think uh, we're just starting to learn in this. I've written some blogs on this. You can check out um, on the website, read up on those. There's probably a half a dozen of those that are going to help connect some dots of why the, I believe that a lot of people struggling uh, with s drugs and alcohol abuse are also untreated sex addicts or intimacy anorexics. And in my experience and opinion, um, substance abuse people were actually sex addicts before um, they were ever, for example, alcoholics. So what happens traditionally, I've noticed, is um, the alcoholic uh, gets caught in an infidelity or affair and what's the first thing they blame? They blame the alcohol. Well, most um, alcoholics grew up, learned um, how to discover their sexuality long before they ever became alcoholics or a substance was uh, around. So um, young children begin to discover their sexuality with masturbation, maybe pornography, and self-stimulation. They begin to do that, and then what happens is they um, grow up and begin to act those fantasies out with someone, and then eventually to do that, they uh, numb up or start drinking, and alcohol is also known as that social lubricant, and they quickly begin to connect the alcohol with the sexual behavior, and they become um, very unified and go together. So now um, they're acting out and drinking and having sex with multiple partners. So um, something to think about and, and if you come here for treatment and even if you use drink a lot or a little alcohol or any drugs, marijuana, these types of things, legal opioids is a big, big problem right now. Uh, we generally recommend you sober up on that uh, or agree to um, pull away, get, get away from those substances because it's just a form of numbing out again. You're, you're using that no matter a, a glass of wine, bottle of wine, uh, liquor, beer, no matter how much or how little, and you may not have any history of DUI, uh, you've never been arrested, but I have found over and over and over it's always going to wreak havoc in this process of healing with intimacy, anorexia, sex addiction. Uh, so just, just be aware of that. And um, if you are struggling with substance abuse and need some inpatient or outpatient treatment, you know, find a local uh, resource um, that can help you. But just some good information, quality information to understand how substance abuse um, is also connected to love addiction, sex addiction, and intimacy, anorexia, especially the addiction to being offended.